So we'll be going to the UK. I think it'll be very important. It certainly will be very interesting. There's a lot going on in the UK. And I'm sure it's going to work out very well for them. As you know, they want to do trade with the United States. And I think there's an opportunity for a very big trade deal at some point in the near future. And we'll see how that works out. Our country is doing incredibly well. Our businesses are doing well. We're going to clog up the border. We're going to stop the border. Mexico is making hundreds of billions of dollars for many, many years. And they have to do something about the border. Everyone's coming through Mexico, including drugs, including human trafficking. We're going to stop it, but we're not going to do business. And that's going to be it. It's very simple. Uh, they're sending a big delegation right here to the White House on Wednesday, as I understand it. And we'll see what can be done. But if it's not done, you know what we're going to be doing. And uh, I'm really OK with that. I don't like them at all. Well, people ask me questions like you. You're asking me a question. Don't ask me the question if you don't want me to talk about it. Go ahead. Talk, you, talk up. They have to stop the illegal flow, the flow of drugs, of immigrants, illegal immigrants, people that have not gone through the process. We have people, we want people to come into our country, but they have to come in legally. We have a list of people, literally millions of people applying for membership, for citizenship to our great country. These people walk in, nobody knows who they are, they don't know the problems. We have a lot of crime that's able to walk in. Our Border Patrol has apprehended record numbers of people. They're doing an incredible job. We're starting, as you know, the process, we're getting them out. So they may think they get in because the laws are no good, but they're getting out, and for that, the laws are very good. So we're taking them out almost as fast as they come in. But it's a big, big job. And if the Democrats would wise up and give us the proper laws, the proper immigration laws, we could solve the problem in one day. But in the meantime, Mexico can do it. And by the way, beyond the immigration laws, Mexico should be doing it. What Mexico has been doing to this country for so many years, like 25 to 30 years, with the drugs and human trafficking and illegals all pouring through Mexico, no good. And caravans, no good. I don't like what's happening in Syria with Idlib. I gave people a warning seven months ago. I stopped it. I don't like what's happening. They're killing indiscriminately many, many civilians. Bad things are happening over there. Well, I may meet with him. He's been a friend of mine. He's been very nice. I have a very good relationship with him. I have a very good relationship with Nigel Farage, with many people over there. And uh, we'll see what happens. But I may meet with him. They want to meet. We'll see what happens. The Australian situation is interesting, but the relationship is very strong. No, we're doing a very, uh, very special relationship with Australia. You have to talk up. We have a helicopter. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, look, we're doing our best to help the Middle East to get a peace plan. And he may be right. I mean, most people would say that. I think we have a good chance, but we'll see what happens. In the meantime, Israel's is all messed up with their election. I mean, that came out of the blue three days ago. So that's all messed up. They ought to get their act together. I mean, Bibi got elected. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to have to go through the process again till September. That's ridiculous. So we're not happy about that. But if we can get a Mideast peace plan, that'd be good. 
And when Mike says that, I understand when he says that, because most people think it can't be done. I think it probably can. But as I say often, we'll see what happens. No, I made no bad comment. Thank you. Are you willing to say that MDF is responsible for death? When did this come up again? What are you back? Are you back? Are you back, what, four months ago? No. Well, you know why? Because people want her to do work. People want the Democrats to pass immigration laws. They want the Democrats, very importantly, to do something on infrastructure. They want the Democrats to reduce drug pricing. That's the reason they're all getting burned. There is no basis whatsoever for impeachment. None. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction. There was no crime. The crime was by the Democrats. The crime was by the Democrats. There is no legal basis for impeachment. It's a big witch hunt. Everybody knows it, including the Democrats. Would you be willing to meet Khabib Khan and London, the mayor? No, I don't think much of him. I think that he's a uh, he's the twin of de Blasio, except shorter. What about okay. Jeremy Corbyn? 